I've been a huge fan of FPS games for quite some time now, especially games like Call of Duty and Battlefield. And for quite some time now, I've been wanting to create my own version of those games, my own game where I can have my own type of environment, my own type of weapons and all that kind of stuff. And because I've been learning Unreal Engine for quite some time now, I thought now was the perfect time. So here's my process of making a prototype of this game. So as a starting point, I was using the new Unreal Engine 5 FPS template that comes with Unreal Engine 5.6. It already had some weapon mechanics, so that would probably save me some time. But the problem is that the weapon that this template comes with isn't really appropriate for my scene. So I went on Sketchfab and found this weapon model. I imported it in Unreal Engine 5, added textures, and then added it to my character. But the character was also like a sci-fi character. So I went on the fab marketplace and started looking for characters. And I found this really good looking character that I was going to add. So I imported it in Unreal Engine 5, and then I replaced my character mesh with this mesh. With all that being done, I had a a working character and a weapon that looked pretty good. The next step was making a landscape. So I created a new level and I went on fab to look for some assets. I found some grass and some trees and then I used Unreal Engine 5's procedural content generation plugin to scatter them around the level and make the level look pretty good. And then when I was satisfied with my environment, I added my character and this is how it looked like at that point. Now at this point, the lighting in my scene wasn't really looking great so I worked on that and I improved it a bit and I think that really improved my scene quite a bit. After I was done with that, now it was time to add the targets. So I imported a good looking mesh from Sketchfab and I added textures and everything. So I created a blueprint class with them. I added physics and I had some score logic as well. And after I was done with that, I scattered them throughout the level. Once I was done with that, it was time to create some widgets. So I created a widget for score and a widget for ammo when you're out of ammo. So I created those widgets and added logic to display them on my screen. And with all that being done, this is how my game turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if I should continue this game and make a full version out of this. And also, if you guys want a full in-depth tutorial of this exact game, I did make a full course in which I'm going to teach you guys Unreal Engine 5 from scratch. I'm going to take you guys from having no experience in Unreal Engine 5 to making this exact game and another third person game as well. So link for that is going to be in the description. I hope you guys check it out and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.